Looking for a way to get healthy? The Chef You and I program has the answer. Catherine Raker and chefs from around the nation will teach even the most inexperienced how to cook. Come into their kitchen and watch them take ordinary foods with loads of calories and fat and turn those foods into healthier dishes. You will be the first to get tips and ideas on foods that are easy to prepare. Now let's join Catherine and today's chef and learn how to make today's recipes. Hi, this is Katherine Raker of The Chef, you and I. And you know, it's summer and it's hot outside. What's great during the summer is cold soups. And today we're doing a combination of different kinds of soup that I love to make. And one of them is gazpacho. And the second one is a fruit gazpacho. And the third one is cold cucumber soup. So let's start with the first one, which is a gazpacho soup that's so easy that you can do it in less than maybe 10 minutes. So the first thing that we're going to do is we have cut one uh, long English cucumber, and I'm going to seed that cucumber first. Then we have three tomatoes, and we have, I love these beautiful peppers because they are not like regular red peppers. They are a lot sweeter than red peppers. And we're going to use three of them and a yellow one to give some color. We're going to do a quarter of a red onion and a couple scallions and two celery stalks, pepper, salt, and uh, not red wine vinegar, but white wine vinegar, and, and some lemon juice. And we're going to have, it's going to be done really, really easy. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to move this out of the way so the camera can see everything that we're doing. And we've made it really simple for you. And then you're going to take all of this. You don't have to peel the cucumber. You just want to leave it the way it is. But you do want to seed it. So this is the way I do it. I use a grapefruit uh, thing because, you know what, it gets everything out. It's like, you know, getting stuff out of a grapefruit. And it makes it simple. So that's really simple. That's one. Here's two. And you might get sprayed a little bit, so you have to be a little bit careful with it. But that makes it so simple for the person that's doing it. And I love, I love gazpacho. And, you know, I'm not using garlic in it, but it calls, my recipe calls for at least a teaspoon or a tablespoon of garlic. I would use a tablespoon if you love garlic. But you know, all of you know that I'm allergic to garlic, so it's a little hard for me to do that. So, and I really don't see the difference between my, my version of it and everybody else's. So, let's do that. We've already got that done. And so we're going to put this aside. And then we're going to actually, we're going to cut them up easily, right? You don't have to make them because you're going to, you can make them any way you want to cut them but, you know, in ch little chunks, right? Because you're going to put them in the food processor in a minute. So I know that you will love this soup like I do. And you want to, after you make it, you want to refrigerate it in the refrigerator. Gazpacho is made very simply with cucumbers, tomatoes, peppers, onion, lemon juice, celery, scallions, and a little bit of lemon, salt, pepper, and white wine vinegar. So that's the simple part of it. So we've done that, and we want to cut up the rest of our cucumbers, which I think is easy. What I love about this soup is that it's so tasty and so good, and your family will love it. And you can keep it in the refrigerator, by the way, for at least three or four, five days, right? And this is a simple soup that you can make. And here I'm going to do this onion. And you want to chop the onion up, right? Just like that. And you don't have to really do very much to it because guess what? It's going to go into the food processor. Here's our tomato. Let's do that. All right. All right. You can seed them if you want to. But because we're going to emulsify this and then, um, and then we're going to use uh, hard bread with it, um, where you could put croutons, your own homemade croutons or other croutons with it. And this is a great, wonderful, lovely 
uh, luncheon or an appetizer for dinner or a soup for dinner for a crowd. Not a crowd, but a few people. And you're going to love it. So here we go. See how simple this is? And now we want to do, we're going to do our celery and peppers over here. And our lemon, we need a teaspoon of lemon or even maybe more. I like lemon, so I put a little bit more in. But you can do it to your taste, okay? So we want to at least do this. All right. I'm so excited about this because guess what? I love to have this for lunch. Absolutely. Absolutely. And my husband loves it too. So anyhow, just do that. And you're going to put in the tomato juice, okay, as well. And, you know, you can use any kind of tomato juice. You can use V8. You can use your just regular tomato juice or make your own. So I think that's fun. So, and tomatoes, uh, tomatoes are a little, not the best right now. So I would use either plum tomatoes or other tomatoes. Or if you're growing your tomatoes, that tastes even better. So let's do that. Now, the one thing you have to do with these wonderful um, peppers is that you just cut them. I took the tops off already. And what you want to do is you want to get rid of this piece right here. So you can go like this and get that out. And I've already seeded them, so I made it simple. And then just like that. That's why I love this little grapefruit um, spoon, because it just does things easily. So we're going to just cut those up. And you don't have to cut them up very big, just like that. And then this all is going to go into this wonderful um, blender, immersion blender. And then we're going to put it into our bowl. And we're going to serve it for lunch today. I know you're going to love it. So that's easy. And it's, it's simple. And I love simple things in the summer. I bet you do too. We'd really love you to send in your recipes, your favorite recipes, to... Catherine at Simultv.com, because guess what? We are now on Simultv and lots of other stations, or you can send it to Catherine Raker, 123 at gmail.com. So, and you know, you should go to our website at Catherine Raker's, the chef you and I, it's the chef you and I. And I know all of you absolutely love our show and have asked for it. So we're going to be on a lot of channels, and we're global now, worldwide. So now that we've got all that done, I'm just going to wipe my hands off a little bit, with a little whatever. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these and put these into, just a second, into my food processor. And But what I need first is a little lemon juice. So I've got it plugged in. And I'm making some fresh lemon juice. There's one. And I lemons are so plentiful right now. So and I lemons are so good for you. You should try them. So now I've done that. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this off and I'm going to take and put this into the food processor. So I don't have a huge food processor, so we're going to do this in stages because we want to actually mix this all together. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the cucumbers first. All right. I'm making a lot of this, so we're going to take all of this, put this into our food processor, right? And I'm going to do it in stages because I've got a big crowd, not a big crowd, I've got my family coming. And... Um, you know, this is something fun and nice to do with your family. So let's do this. I'm going to put a little bit of onion in there, right? And I'm going to actually put a little bit of the tomato juice in there, right? Okay, and then I'm going to mix it all together in a few minutes. Okay, so we are going to do this. Okay, that's good. So you don't have to do it forever. Some people like it really chunky. I like it smoother. Okay, so we're going to take this off, and we're going to put this in the bowl, and then we're going to mix it all together. Okay? All right. It's really pretty simple. 
And then we're gonna put this back in and do this. And then we're gonna add all the rest of the ingredients as well. And then I'm gonna add all of the spices and everything at the very end. Because, you know, the thing is, is that you're gonna mix it together. But if you've got a large food processor, right, you can do it easily in one time. But since I don't, we're doing it like this today, okay? So, right. Just keep doing it until it's completely. We're back on the chef, you and I, and now I'm adding all the spices because it makes it easier to do it this way from the very beginning. So I actually want a teaspoon to a teaspoon of, of actually of the salt, a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of salt, okay, and then um, a teaspoon of pepper, which I've already measured, and we're going to add in a quarter cup of white wine vinegar, and um, actually a tablespoon of lemon juice. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually stir that really good, because you wanna get all those spices and everything in there. And now, this is so simple. See how simple that was to make? absolutely delicious and what we're going to do is we're going to refrigerate this for about two hours and I'm actually going to put this into my serving bowl so I don't have to wait when I serve my guests so I'm going to go ahead and actually just a second bring this over here for a minute and then bring the serving dish over here and you'll see this this makes a lot so since I have a lot of different friends and families that because of COVID-19 have been indoors. I thought this would be a nice soup for them. And you know, you know, it's really a nice gesture to bring um, something nice to, you know, your neighbors or people that can't get out. And this is my gift to them. So actually, you'll see how beautiful that is. And I want to serve that with a crusty bread. And we just happened to have the crusty bread today, so we'll show you that. And this actually is our complete soup. And let's take our crusty bread. And what you can do with it, which I like to do, is cut it up in cubes, right? And then put it on the top. So we're gonna open this up. And I'm probably just gonna need about a half of it. So. I'll take this and I'll cut it. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna use a different knife. So we're cutting it up in pieces like that to put on top of the gazpacho or serve with the gazpacho on a beautiful little dish. So I'm going to get my little serving bowls that are in the other room and show you besides which we're gonna put this in and this will show you what I'm talking about. And I'll cut this up again. So got cubes. And you can put them on the top of the soup or you can serve it with just, you know, a slice of this beautiful artesian bread with butter. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so we're back and we're gonna put these, actually I can put these in the refrigerator just like that. So I'm gonna do this like this really nice these are so sweet. Uh, people just love them. And then I'm gonna put a little thing right here, like that. And we have th three people actually coming for lunch. And they're gonna love this. All right. And do that, put one there. And a third one. And it's really scrumptious. I'm telling you, I, I tasted it during the break and it's really good. Okay, that's it. And then put one here. And you've got your lunch already made, the first course of your lunch already made, which is really sweet. Well, guess what? We have another show for you 
on the end of this show, and that is with my granddaughter that came all the way from New Orleans, who does cooking shows with me when she's in town or I'm there. And we're making, guess what? We're making pineapple upside down cake and homemade ice cream chocolate with chips in it. And we wanna thank the 360 company for actually letting us have that wonderful pan, saute pan, to make our cake in. So let's join Cassie and watch Grandma and Cassie on The Chef You and I. Hi, this is Catherine Raker of The Chef You and I, and I have my lovely granddaughter, who very shortly will be celebrating her 10th birthday. Right? Yeah. How long have you been on my show? How many years? Uh, five. Well, maybe you were only two and a half on the first one. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that one? Yeah. What did you do? I ate the cheese. You used to make, well, the first thing you ever made was oh, chicken noodle soup. Yeah, and then the second thing wasn't, it was the eggs, and then I eat the egg cheese. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyhow, we've done a lot of different shows together, and... I'm so honored that you're here today to make my favorite thing in the whole world. What's that? Ice cream. Chocolate ice cream. And since Cassie and I are both have a little bit of lactose intolerance, right, mm -hmm. we're making it with what? Lactate. Lactose-free milk. That's right. So we're doing that. But you can use any kind of milk in this recipe, and it's really simple. We have, what's this, Cassie? That is ice cream salt. Okay, and what's this? Vanilla extract. And? Um, that is sugar. one cup of sugar. That is one cup of milk. One and a half cups of, of lactate free. Mm -hmm. And what's that? And then this is? Heavy cream. Heavy cream. Okay, and this is cocoa powder, okay? Mm -hmm. So the first thing that we're gonna do, I'm gonna let you mix, this is mine, you mix the I, the uh, sugar, so the first, the ingredients are, we did that, we already went through that. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our half a cup of sweetened cocoa powder, put it in there. My right. bowl or your bowl? That, no, your bowl, you're doing it, okay? And then you need your sugar. Which is right here. Right. We you wanna, have one cup of sugar. And then you wanna add the, one cup of sugar, right? Mm -hmm. And you want to add your, it says you add your milk, cocoa powder, and sugar to combine. The sugar and cocoa should completely dissolve. So do it slowly, this maybe. This is a half cup of milk. No, that's one and a half cups of milk. That's one and a half cups. Okay. So I'm going to start this off for you because you have to have all this dissolve. Do you know what dissolve means? Yeah, it means it. You need to stir this until everything yeah. dissolves, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so make sure all that cocoa powder doesn't be look like lumps, right? Just like you would when you make chocolate milk. Oh, right, like chocolate milk or whatever. Or hot chocolate. Let me in this case, let, let me move that. Okay, and also we're gonna move this a little bit so they can see everything that you're doing. Okay. And I'm just you mixing keep going it and, and make sure you get on the sides. We can also use this cast. Look, we could be doing this a little bit, you know? Yeah. What do you think? I think the whisk is easier. Well, no, they don't tell you to whip it. They tell you to do this because they just want you to blend it together. All right. So kids at home, you know, if you're if you're a lot smaller than Cass, then you need your mom's help a little bit, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's looking good, Cass. So the next thing, once you get get all those sides, see right here, this mm -hmm. the side. Okay, make sure you get it all because that's going to make make chocolate ice cream and get rid of the little lumps that I see. Okay, that's good. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, Cass, is we're going to take in this large bowl. We're going to whip the heavy the whipping cream. So give me that. All right, and then we're gonna. You want to pour it in? Yeah. Okay. As you can see, it's really like wet. It's like a lot. And we're gonna thicker. whip it, right? We're gonna whip it, mm -hmm. right? Until it gets what they call peaks, soft peaks. So it, you know, so you can see it's like kind of a mountain peak, mm -hmm. right? That's pretty cool, huh? 
Yeah. Anyhow, tell everybody what you're going to make um, with um, for your ice cream sundae and your keep on stirring that. I think that would be yeah. good. I have to whip this up so it's going to make a little noise and then we're going to take a little short break so I can get it to the point of consistency, okay? We're back on the Chef You and I and Cassie, we're actually just finished the um, the whipped cream, okay, so it peaks, and that's what a peak looks like, right, when you go like mm. that, and there's peaks, see? Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, give me this, because I'm going to take it, right, mm. actually, mm -hmm. and I'm going to put it right here, and I want you to pour that into the chocolate, or the, the whipped cream, okay? Whoa, it kind of right. just like went under the cream. Oh, don't worry about it. We're going to mix it all together. I know. It's just, it, it's weird because it went, when you right. poured it in, it went okay. all the way okay, under. So I want to put that right there, right? Can and I then, mix wait, it? Wait, we got something else to do. We have to put one teaspoon, and you're going to hold this, and I'm I'm going to, oh, wait a minute. You've got chocolate everywhere. Hmm. Yeah, oh, I do. God. That's what happens when you love chocolate, huh? Yeah. All right. So mm -hmm. what we're going to do is we need one teaspoon of, okay, hold it. Vanilla extra. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that's not too bad, right? Yeah. Okay, so I need you to mix it in. Okay, stir it. That's weird. It's no, like it's I can't. That's not weird. That's I the can't. chocolate. Keep I going. Know. I just I can barely see it. I know. It looks, going, like when my, it looks like when my, um. What? My what? ice cream is melted. Oh, you gotta do this a little bit. It's all on the bottom. Okay, I'm helping you. Woo! This is fun. It's like making chocolate pudding or something, right? Now we have to put this, we have to put this in the freezer, but we have to get all that chocolate, if you don't mind. Oh, I just got it on you. Did I get it on me too? No, you just got it on the little stool. Oh, well, we can clean that off, right? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna really mix this up. Okay, My turn. you keep doing it because you gotta get all that chocolate up to the top. Okay, and then we're going to put this into, okay, so let me just see something. Oh, I see. Grandpa was telling me something, and I have to see it. Oh, I see it. Oh, it's got it? all at the bottom. It's all at the bottom. I can see okay. a little stir. Well, I think this is actually going to be good enough to put into the freezer or refrigerator. Uh, and you want to put it in the back of the refrigerator so that it gets really cold. Okay? And it has to. Cassie, it has to stay in the refrigerator for guess how long? How long? A half an hour. Seriously? So we are going to take a little short break, and I have to put it in the refrigerator, okay? We're back on The Chef, You and I, and Cassie, we're going to make a pineapple what? Upside down cake. But we're going to do it in this saute pan from 360 Cookware mm -hmm. that provided it for us. So this is my first time to do it, and it's your first time to do it, right? Yep. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put three tablespoons of butter into the pan, which is not hot, by the way. And we're also going to uh, take a pinch of salt. Hold on. I need a pinch of salt. And I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this, we right? We have a little box and it has the directions on Well, honey, back. we're not, but we're not doing that, okay? Yeah. We're doing the topping for the pineapple upside down cake, right? Yeah. So it says, um, actually, we want to take the brown sugar, the butter, and we're going to melt the butter in the stainless. No, wait a minute. We haven't, we have to melt this first, right? Mm -hmm. Then we need to add the sugar and the salt. Yeah. So we're fine. I put the salt in, but it's all right. So I'm going to take this pan over here, and we're going to take the camera and you over to where I'm going to do it, okay? Uh, so I want you, if you wouldn't mind, right, to stand right here and not near the heat. And what the cameraman's going to do is he's going to come over here. All right, Cassie, I am back, right? And what we're doing now is we're melting the butter, 
right? And then after we melt the butter, and I'm going to turn this down just a little bit because it's a little too high. And remember right? not to do this at home without an adult. That's right. So as soon as we melt the butter, um, we actually are going to put in the brown sugar, and we're going to wait until the brown sugar dissolves because that becomes what is at the bottom of the cake, right? And so it would be like if you were doing it with a cake pan, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so as soon as this melts, and I'm going to ask you to put that brown sugar in here, okay? All right. So it's not, no, it's not ready yet. The, do you see the butter melted? It's not real. It's not there. It's almost there, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, in a second. Okay, now what I want you to do is put the brown sugar. Go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to mix the brown sugar in here, and it's going to dissolve, right? We need it to dissolve. And then we're going to turn it down. I'm going to turn it down a little, really low, right? So I can do this without getting it to stick. See how it's, what it looks like here? Yes. Right. So we want to dissolve the brown sugar, and we don't want it to stick totally, right? Okay, we've got this made in the shade. So we're going to let that go. We turned it down really low, right? So I'm just stirring it so it doesn't stick. Okay. So the cameraman can go back for a minute because I need to, to move this. Okay, so hold on. And once it dissolves, Cassie, we're going to, let's see, we're going to let it cook for it, reduce it to really medium low, okay? And in the meantime, what we're going to do is arrange the pineapple rings on the sugar and cook, shaking the pan occasionally until the sugar is bubbly and beginning to caramelize, okay? It's still not totally dissolved yet. So I need that pineapple. Where is that pineapple? Okay. Okay, so we're not using, we're doing something really different here, okay? Cassie, let me get in here for a minute because I want to do this, right? And I'm going to put the pineapple in here. Uh-oh. Whoa, that's simmering. Yeah, that's different already. i got to turn that way down, right? Yeah, we don't want it splattering. Okay, we don't want it splattering. We'll get that out of there. We'll make sure that that doesn't happen. But what I'm doing is I'm putting this type of pineapple in. And see, it's starting to caramelize already. Look. See? All right. So that's exactly what we wanted it to do without it splattering like that. Right? Okay. So I'm going to totally turn this down. All right. It's totally caramelized now. All right. Okay. So. All right. Now I'm going to... I'm totally turning it down to the point of no return. And I, you usually use just the tops, you know, like the slices, but we didn't have any slices today. So I used just, guess what? What? Crushed pineapple, right? Yeah. So you can use that or the rings. So I use that. And so what we're going to do next is, all right, we are going to make, um, we're going to make the cake mix, all right? Okay. Okay, so let's do this. And so we are going to let's move make the cake this. mix. Okay, so the first thing, you have to open it up first. You want to give it to me, Grandma? I'll open it. I got it. You got it? Yep. For sure. Yep. So you've made cakes before, right, Cassie? Yeah. All right. And that wasn't a serrated knife, was it? Let me, no. let me. I let, got it. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, let me cut that, please. Yes, Thank please. you. Grandma, I'll cut it because she he has a trusty, dusty scissors right here. Mm -hmm. Right. Watch it. Do you have our whisk ready? Uh, no, we're going to use a mixer. Oh, can I do it? Yes. You're in charge of this whole project. Okay. So, what does it say next? What does it say to do on here first? And then we need one cup of water. But because, but here's the thing, because we're making this with their, with their... Um, pineapple. I added pineapple juice to this, and I filled it up 
so there was a reserve from the pineapple, and mm -hmm. I put that in there with more water till it became one cup. Uh, so okay. add that. And that's only if you're doing a pineapple upside down. Upside down cake, right. Otherwise, so, you just put regular water. That's in. right. So what else do we want to put in there, Cassie? Um, we, then we want to put a half cup of vegetable oil. Is that a half a cup? That looks more like a... That's a half a cup. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see that. Hold on. It's supposed to be a half a oh, cup. Oh, yeah. Of you're right. Go right ahead. It looks bigger for some reason. I don't know. Go ahead. And what else are we putting in there? And then we're going to, we cracked three eggs into a little thing. Okay. And then we need to add that. Right. And so then we're going to use the mixer to make it really nice so that we can put it where? On top of what, Cassie? On top Cassie? of the cake. Okay. As you can see, we need to start with the, um, with the spatula a little longer to beat the eggs. Because as you can see, they're still like a little more yellow because of egg yolk. Yeah. So. Do you like eggs? Yeah. I, I hear your dad makes, I hear your dad, we're going to use the mixer, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, and we're going to do it on, you want to put that in that cup? Thank you. We could All also right. dye it, too. We could put yellow yeah. dye in there. Yeah, you could. Well, here's what we're going to do. I Can you hold on to this? Yeah. We're almost going to plug it in, okay? It is currently not on, so no. until I turn it on to the second steading, it will be ready. Okay, so I'm going to do this for you. And I then need, I can just hold I it. Need, I need that spatula for a minute, so you can you give me the spatula for a minute? Okay, thank you. Now watch it, so I can do this. Let me do that so it all gets in there, sweetie. And you should do this with an adult, shouldn't you? Yeah, and you don't want it touching the bottom. You yeah. want it to be just like up high. Right. The way it's mixing the cake batter. Yeah, it's really get right there. Because we're gonna put the, we're gonna pour this onto the top of the pineapple and the brown sugar, right? Yep. Yeah. Get down in there. So, we have to do it for a few more minutes because it's gotta be really good, okay? Hold on, stop for a minute, I gotta do this. All right, I wanna make sure there's nothing in there that's not dissolved, right? Mm-hmm, okay. it looks all good. It looks good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Just maybe one more time around, okay? Okay. okay. Okay, I think that should do it, Kiss. Okay, so what we want to do is, is you also could turn it on and then let all the cake batter spin off. Well, that's all right. We're not going to do that today because I don't want it to go all over the place. Okay, and we need this thing right here. Mm -hmm. Right, that's called a spatula, right? Yep. So now we're done with that. Give that to me. So I'm going to have to come over here, and I'm going to have I'm going to put pour this into the mixture that we have here. We're pouring the uh, actual batter over the um, cake in cake, our pan. The pineapple, right? Mm-hmm. And now, the brown sugar, right? If it would, if you guys don't have one of these pans and are not baking it in a pan, um, if you're baking it in a mug, you could take like a circle and um, you would put it in the mug and then you'd put the cake batter over it. But if you were doing a regular, you'd take all of the um, yeah, all of the pineapple pans. up, yes. and then you'd put it in the bottom of the pan, and then you'd pour the cake batter over and stick it in the oven. But since we have a pan, we're going to do it in, it in our pan. Okay, so we're going to reduce the heat to low. Don't turn the thing on right now. We're reducing it to low, and... We are going to actually cover the pan. Okay, it's gonna be, we're gonna cover the pan and we're gonna reduce it to low. 
which we did. And, and okay, so we're fine with that, right? We're going to reduce it to low, and we're going to watch it for 20 to 30 minutes in here, okay? And it should cook very easily. In the meantime, Cassie, guess what? We can take out the ice cream because it should be done by now. And yep. we'll make ice cream, and we'll have pineapple cake and ice cream. That sounds wonderful. We'll be right back on The Chef You and I with Cassie, Grandma, Kathy, right? Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. Bye. We're back on The Chef You and I, and actually, I want to stir this a little bit. Um, actually, what we did was we put the mixture into this container. We had put it in the freezer for a little while so it got cold it's really cold and now what we're going to do cassie is this is the ice cream maker are you looking yep. this is the ice cream maker oh, and we're going to put there. this into i want to show that into our ice cream making bucket and then she, you have to put the paddle in mm -hmm. right because that's going to what is that going to stir yes and make and then the we ice have cream to put the cap on, on. it and then we have to put the connect. electric motor on, right? Mm -hmm. And, and we it just sits over the top. Right. And it clicks in. To right? Place. Correct. And it clicks in. So we want to put ice all the way to the top practically. And we have to use what? Rock salt? We also have to use, yeah, the ice cream pouring all right. salt. Right. This is what it looks like as we showed you earlier. Right. And now we're putting ice around it, right? Because mm -hmm. that's what makes the ice cream. And right? then in the between layers, we pour some of the salt in. And more and what? And more what? And more ice. Ice. Okay. And so, so it's practically our assistant is putting the ice in. He put the ice cream maker together. So you could get your mom or dad to help you do that part. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you have right there? Because you just made that. So I took um, my Gatorade and I have this mold where it goes on the stick and then it's like you either can put it in your drink right or you could make it like a popsicle right like you're doing right now mm -hmm. and okay. i have it the pieces that didn't come out on this stick are in there so now it's a little jar full of my gatorade popsicles so that's right fun so now what we're doing is we're actually getting as much ice as we can in there and then we're going to pour the salt in as well, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to turn it on. Now we have pineapple upside down cake in the pan back there. Right? Yes. We're doing chocolate ice cream. And when the chocolate ice cream is done, what are we going to do? We are going to make, make sundaes and, and put them in ice cream, some of them in ice cream cones. Now you could do this for your friends, right? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe six friends when you get back because that's all the, the kids you're allowed to have six, right? Well, yeah, um, but I only have, um, I, um... When you do it, you only have a couple? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to, and you know, you could you could actually make this for Father's Day. Yeah. With, or you could do it for the 4th of July. And if we did it for the 4th of July, what would you do? You would um, make it with 4th of July colors. Yes, which are what? Which are red, white, and blue. And right. I will be right back with my ice cubes that are rainbow. Okay. Wait, we have to take a break. Yep. Come here, we gotta take a break. Yeah. We're gonna take a short break here while we go get the actual thing that Cassie did with her other ice cubes and we'll show you that in a glass, okay? We'll be right back. We're back on The Chef, you and I, and Cassie, you're gonna show people how actually you made these ice cubes, and I'm gonna turn on the, the ice cream maker, but we're gonna let them do that first. Go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna turn this on right now. Wait a minute, Cass. And, and we put the ice and the salt in there, and we're gonna, it's gonna be about 20 or 30 minutes in here. And, no? 90 minutes? 90 minutes in here? An hour. Okay, so I want you to show the kids what you've done. You've, what, so, what did you do? I made colored ice cubes. So I just put water in our ice cube tray 
and then I put the coloring in, and right. so I made it rainbow, so there's all different types of colors. Right. And there'll be a little extra, and I'll show you how to do it. It's pretty easy. All you need is food dye and the water mm -hmm. cube trays. Right, it looks pretty cool. Yeah. So here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna put that into a, can you wanna put it in a glass? Yeah, I will. Okay, and then we're gonna show the kids how to do it, right? Yep. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay. So we're just busy popping all of them out. All right, so let's do this. Let's put them in a glass. Grandma, I'd rather you wear gloves. All right. Well, you put them in the glass then. That's good. Just do a couple more, because these are melting. Yeah, so we need to put these back in the refrigerator. Right. Or the freezer in this case. But I thought you were going to use that to show the kids how. Well, yeah, but we need to put the glass full of ice back in the freezer. Yeah, we do. So we need a bag, actually. Right? No, I'm just going to put the glass in. Are you going to put the glass in the freezer? Yeah. Well, I've got a plastic one that we could do it with. How about that? No. Just... Yes. Okay. So we're going to take a little break. Uh, are you going to put this all in the... Okay. All right, so now you see what the product what the final product is, right, are these beautiful mm -hmm. cubes, right? Now, yep. we're going to take a break, KFC, and we're going to be right back, and we're going to teach the kids how to do the ice, okay? We'll okay. be right back on The Chef, you and I. We're back on The Chef, you and I, uh, and Ka with Cassie and myself, Catherine Raker. And what we're going to do now, the ice cream's ready to go, Cassie, into the freezer, right? And so I, I need to clean this off, right? And it's been in there 45 minutes, right? Yeah. And now what we're going to do, Cass, is we're going to put it into this dish, and then you're going to add in the chocolate chips. Which we have right here. Right, and I need to put that here. Okay, so I need to take this out, right? It's about a cup of chocolate chips to two cups. Okay, so I need to do this. All Just right, so you can, when I get there. that in there, then what you can do is start putting the chocolate chips in. Hold on. Okay. Just be careful. Don't put a lot in all at once. Okay. Oh. Okay, mix them around. Okay. So this is chocolate chip, chocolate ice cream, right? Just a little bit. Oops. Oops. Boy, it's almost ice cream. I'm getting ice cream everywhere. Wow. Oh. Oh, no. You might have to whip that big chunk of chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. Watch it. Got chocolate. Just, Let's yeah. mix it up like that. Okay. But I got to get all this out of the bottom. Okay. And then this, the last of these, this bowl will go on top. And then I will grab. This bag. And boop. Mm -hmm. Great. Now wait a second. And now you just gotta do a streak. Mix it up. Let's mix it up a little. And now you have like a layer of chocolate. You have different layers of chocolate chips. Right, right. So you do that. In the meantime, Grandma's going to wipe off all the chocolate off of her chef coat. Right? Mm -hmm. And here. So that's enough, okay? Because we're going to put it in the freezer, okay? Yes. So do this, right? And then you just let it, you put the lid on and yes. you let it freeze. For how long? For like 30 minutes? A couple of hours. Yeah. Okay, we're going to put it in the freezer, okay? So talk to the kids about what you're going to do next. 
Um, next, I am going to be doing, um, so I'm going to color ice cubes with food coloring. Now, if you don't have this kind of food color, the liquid, it's easy to get it at your local store or you could get it, um, if you have the gel decorating, you just add a little bit of water to that and mix it around and eventually it'll, the little pieces will dissolve and then you'll have like this kind of liquid. But if you have this, you wanna do a drop in each cube and you need like this kind of gel. You need this kind of silicone plastic mold for your and it's okay if you get more than one drop in one. So, yeah, you just continue doing that. And then um, you need a spoon. You need a spoon? Uh-huh. A little spoon, right? Oh, I got dye on my hand. Use, well, use that one. Or you want to use something smaller. This? This, uh, yeah. No, this no, is not this one? Work. This one. Um... Turn it so you can see what you're doing here. Well, I don't want it to spill. Um, so. So what's going on, Cass? Um, we're just making the. Do you yes. want to put a little bit more water in there? No, because I don't want to overfill it. Okay, so let's do this. Let's wipe this off, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, make sure. And now you want to get plastic wrap. Plastic wrap? Yeah. Okay, we'll get plastic wrap. So you just want to kind of wipe that off. I recommend wearing gloves, but it's okay if you don't have any. I just so, because I got dye on the one non-handed glove. Kind of looks cool. But. Hold so on. So I can do it. Okay, be so careful. we have the type where you just pull it. Like this, and then you zip that. Oops. Ah, shoot. Um, okay, and yeah. then go like... And then this is just temporary, so when you put it in the freezer, it's not going to be like this. Yeah. It's just so you can get right. it in there. And then we're going to put that in the freezer in a minute. Don't worry. Okay, so we're back, and it's all done. It's not quite frozen yet, but it's all... The, thing, the process is done. Now you got to take it over to your freezer with the plastic wrap on it and then you want to take the plastic wrap off when it's in the freezer and then you want to close the drawer if you have it in a drawer slowly and then you want to shut the freezer and they're done and then come back to see how they turn out bye for now now we're going to show the cake okay do you know where the um, whipped cream is the whipped cream is in the refrigerator. Good, because we're going to add whipped cream to this. We have a whipped cream for our Sundays. It's already open, though. We put some whipped cream on it. Hold on a minute. We put we're some gonna... cool whip on it. Yeah, we put some cool whip on it, but we're going to add some Where ready whip. Where are we going to add it? Go ahead. Around the edges or on top of the cherries? Well, let's, let me try it first, okay? Just show me where you want me to put it. Oh. We're going to do this, right? That looks really cool. So, I think that's enough, actually. Well, I just want to fill in that spot. Okay, fill in that spot. Okay. And then we'll put a cherry on the top of it, okay? All right, and then we're just going to... I'd like to kind of do this a little bit here, here, to decorate it. I can here. do it. Okay, hold on. Here. I got it. I got it. Okay, that should be... Okay, and one over here. Right there, right in there. Okay, we're done. So anyhow, this is finished, and we want to say uh, we're going to come back when we have the chocolate ice cream, and we're going to show you how to put it into another dish, okay? So we need to take a picture of this for our television show, and we'll be right back after these important messages. And when we come back, Cassie, the ice cream will be done. We can make some sundaes and some cones, okay? Yay! Thank you. Bye. Bye. No, why are you buying? Because we're going to be back. No, you just say, we'll be back in just a moment. Okay. Do it. We'll be back in just a moment.
We're back on The Chef, you and I, with Cassie and myself, Catherine Raker, her grandmother. And actually, this is more like soft serve. You need to get this really hard. Right, Cass? Yeah. So we're going to make what? We're going to make... Uh, Sundays, and then we're also going to do them in cones. Okay, so what are you going to put on top of this Sunday? Um, This one, I'm just going to do whipped cream, chocolate syrup, and sprinkles. Okay, and I'll do this one. Okay. So you want to actually leave this in the freezer for at least two hours or more, okay? Well, don't worry. Just put sprinkles on. Let's just put sprinkles on. It looks really cool, right? Put some yeah. chocolate syrup. That looks good. So you want to do on both? And then we need to have a couple cones, Cass. If you don't mind, I I'll don't. put the cones there. Right. So for, you know, for little kids that love ice cream or soft serve, you can do that just like this, right? Mm -hmm. And you don't have to give them a lot, right, Cass? Yeah. Right. This one. Ooh. Good. Right? Mm -hmm. Don't put too much on it, girl. And I know your grandpa loves soft serve. Right? Mm hmm Okay. So, Cassie, we have actually come to the end of our show. What? Oh, God. Okay. Oh, and don't forget that we did the cake in the 360 pan, right? And, which is really cool. Can you put some, can you put some on here, please? Thank you. And I'll just hold it like this. And don't forget the cake. We, we did a um, pineapple upside down cake, but we used crushed pineapple. And then we put a lot of wonderful um, whipped cream on top. Okay, and then you can have that. And we want to say thank you for joining us today on The Chef, You and I. And bon appetit. Let's have one of these. Mm. See you next time on The Chef, You and I. Bye. Bye. Thanks for joining us on The Chef, You and I show today. We'll be back next week with another great and healthy recipe don't forget to visit our website, thechefyouandi.com, for all of our featured recipes, cooking tips, and clips of the show.